That's why we called you this evening to possibly inspire someone out there. Yeah. People have been asking us, who is the man of J. Banda? Yeah. The different names altogether. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. IP, mm. uh, yes, I've gone through a lot of things, a, a lot of uh, hard things whereby sometimes uh, if I was a weak person, I was even just going to commit suicide mm. or may, maybe just getting my, my life away. Because, you know, whereby, uh, I'll, I'll even tell you that, uh, that story we, you started with, yeah. to say about, um, about the central police yeah. saga, mm. whereby you are watching people uh, are even announcing, you are reading the news to mm. say, this person is unwanted. Wherever he, wherever he is found, mm. just shoot. It was actually here when I hosted yeah, that. The uh, uh, one that was there was Inspector signed by Heiko. I mean, the deputy uh, uh, inspector general of police at the time, Mr. Boni Capeso. Yeah, Mr. You know, I did, didn't interview him, and he said, Iweka JJ, Iweka we, JJ, we, can you eh, come out? Can you come out? And he surrendered yourself to the police. Nga muaba ten. Avali ten, avali eight ones. Malafwa. Pola mi control, anoku mi control. And I want to tell me, I want me, can you please tell me and the people of Zambia how you managed to just enter the police station on that material day to beat almost everybody who was working on that particular day? Uh, Not only beating people, but you also went and you st stole money there. Uh, Mr. Mr. IP, mm. Mr. IP, in, um, in 2019, mm. and that was in 2020, yeah. in 2020, it was a well-known story to say whether you like it or not in Petauke, Emmanuel J.J. Banda will be an MP come 2021. So my predecessor then now, he, she was a minister. And you know how ministers, how powerful they are. So now, all that was a propaganda to make sure that I shouldn't, she shouldn't face me come 2021, because if the only solution was not to face me in the ballot in 2021. Otherwise, facing me uh, on the ballot in 2021, she was losing. She was retiring from, from politics. That's why I don't think you have ever seen her in, in the political, um, in, the, in the media, or being interviewed, or being what. So she was scared of the same thing. That's why I was uh, Mr. IP. I witnessed up to today. That's why Mr. Kanganja, one day, yes, is my father, because he's my agent to my father. But he really needs to, even just to apologize to call me one day, even Mr. Bonkapes, because Mr. Kanganja, I witnessed him one day, him calling, him, calling officers, junior officers, to say, just shoot him. Mm. Over and, and, and low assembly. And how did you feel? I mean, hearing if, if this big phone call coming of uh, an inspector general of police allegedly mm. instructing the junior officers to shoot at you. How how did you feel? Uh, that's what I'm telling you to <laughs> say. I reached to the level whereby should I just take my life away? But I just said no, no, no. The books and the history I was reading to other politicians really motivated me to say, no, politicians, they go through a lot of things. They go through hardship. You can imagine him calling, whereby I'm at, uh, um, I'll, I'll tell you there was this uh, uh, in Chipata, the Minister of Youth and, um, Minister of Youth and Sport, mm. uh, Honorable Emmanuel Mlenga. Yeah. yeah, he was launching presidential youth empowerment. And I was the provincial youth chairman for Eastern Province. Mm. Then he just invited me to address, to talk to the people, to instruct them what to do, to say, oh, let's shift it to the other side. By the virtue of you being the, the youth chairman at youth the time. Youth chairman. Yes. Just addressing them. Mm. I was sleeping at night at, uh, at Protea Hotel. Then the cops just came to say, no, no, no. We have been instructed to say you have committed an offense by addressing those people, so it's an off assembly. So uh, I said, why? Okay, you can call me, maybe I come. Then one officer just came, a good Samaritan. To me, I call him a good Samaritan. Because mm. he just told me to say, Mr. Banda, uh, these people, it's like he, that uh, aggravated robbery you have survived to say you stole money. 
whereby even us officers, you, we know here in Eastern Province how much you spend a day on just fuel to do community work, just to even to buy coffins. Because every day, Mr. Banda, you spend about 100 liters of diesel. Mm. 100 liters of diesel, it's about 3,000 kwacha. Oh, it's about 1,500 kwacha. Mm. Sorry. Yeah. So every day, I spend about that much. But at Central, Pol Central Police, they were accusing you to say you have stolen, uh, you have stolen a 3,000, a mm. 2,000, and two phones worth 3,000, altogether 5,000. Whereby that, that day, the phone I was using, it was 25,000 kwacha. So how foolish uh, was I to steal a phone worth 3,000, but I've got two phones uh, worth more than 50,000. It, so, it was so unreasonable. Then from there, those officers, they just told me to say, we have been assigned to arrest you, but amongst ourselves, mm. there are some cadres who have been planted so that uh, they should beat us when arresting you, so that it should be aggravated robbery. So just know what to do here in the room. We are sitting outside. Then, mm. then in the room now, I said, what am I going to do? Nich the change, Romba, now. Kuya kuona nilipalulu pa second floor, pa protia. I said, what am I going to do? I looked, I, I, I opened the, with the, the curtain, looked down outside. It was far. I said, what am I going to do? Here I can't jump, this side I can't go. What am I going to do? I decided just to break the window, then to jump. I said, if it's to die, I'll die. Because let me save myself again from this aggravated robbery, which is coming again, which is about to come. So I decided to jump innocent. Just after jumping there, landing down, innocent. The, the, the hip was dislocated. And those are the pictures we saw of uh, you being the I'm hospital. Coming there. I'm coming there. Yeah. My hip was dislocated. Mm. After my hip was, my, I just told my, my, my youths to say, can you please rush me? Don't rush me to the, to the hospital. Rush me to police. I want to go and report myself. That's how I rushed now, jumping them. They are waiting there on the door, mm. waiting for JJ to come out that I was dressing. Um, that I was dressing, then I jumped. My hip dis dislocation, dislocated. Then I, my youth, they carried me, they rushed me to the police. I said, no, boss, let's rush you to, to hospital. I said, no, no, no. When I go to hospital, they, they will, they will say now, he's on the run. So I said, no, 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 even if I'm not okay, please rush me to the police. Then I went to the police. I found officers waiting. I said, officers, I'm here. Uh, I've heard that you want me. I know we have, we have got instruction that you have committed an lawful assembly. I said, ah, okay, but you would have just uh, uh, issued a, yeah, a, a court. Mm. I, I was going to come because I'm a senior party member, a provincial youth chairman. Mm. You would have just uh, summoned me. Then they said, ah, no, no, you know how these instructions are. So we are here now to arrest you. I said, okay, but I've got a problem. Take me to police. I said, no, no, no. The instruction is to put you in cells. But I said, look, this is the way it's swallowing. Chuvimba, lomba, chukia chuvimba. Nitualeni. They refuse. They, they, they throw me in the, in the cells. Then from there, from there I spent the night around zero five. My, my leg was like this innocent. Even the same dislocation of hip, it was like this. That's how I, I was just crying. They came now, uh, whereby officers just to see me, uh, tears, tears were dropping. dropping. Tears were dropping. Whereby my, my father cried to um, being a mayor, because he was a mayor, mm -hmm. tried to, um, to talk to the, to, the, to, the, to the ministers by then. Mm -hmm. But my father would be just told to say, no, 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 your son is a criminal. We don't want even to hear about, uh, about that name. Whereby my mom used to come in cells, inside, just to, to, to strengthen me. Mm. I used to eat shima when I, when I have to eat. I used to eat with my mom inside the cells. My mom would ask to say, okay, lekani ni love maminom. Ngati nukufa nane ni fere maminom. Ni mulie sheti ya mwana wangu. She would come in, my mom. Feed me. Just there in cells. With my, with my swollen leg, I wasn't allowed to go to the, to the hospital. 
Then from there, again, my dad asked them to say, okay, take him to the, to the court so that maybe the court would decide. Mm. Again, they refused. So I was kept inside the cells for three weeks without taking me to police or to court. court. We tried habeas corpus. It couldn't work, innocent. It couldn't work. Then from there, I was sent direct again. Without going to court, I was sent to prison. To prison again I stayed. Then there, there was one incident whereby the, the, the same cook who was cooking for us, a Malawian, said, Abwana, lero ngatisumu, siki sumu za chita iti, ngatisumu tuluka, nishinu mukufa. Zindu sizi libuino. Nati iwe, nichani, nishimikire. Ata, inendine nilu mpikirani, but nilu muzani. We thank God. Around 16, the, the leg now became swollen whereby everyone could see. That's how I was transferred to hospital, mm. the Chipata Central Hospital, and I was admitted. Right. Then from there now, that's how I survived again from the prison. I survived because that one, uh, again, it was you, a you, you, Your story is um, yeah. very interesting and, of course, a very touching story. On your, yeah. on, on but your the, people, this is, um, the people now who, yeah. who, who, who didn't understand, who didn't know about those stories, mm. they thought that maybe it's, a, it's just a, it's a, it's a contravention. Maybe and and that's why we called you this evening, to, really. What, I should make mention that we, we have to call for another episode to come and just finish your entire story. Um, I'll just push in a few questions before we go.